I'd like to give a great big shout out to all my subs. Thanks so much for all the support. And if you like what you see, then hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. To start this glitch, head into multiplayer and have a friend join you. And then go into custom games. Once in custom games, you're going to want to leave alone so that your friend stays in the custom game lobby. And then you're going to go back into custom games. Now go to edit game rules and then go to settings. Now have your friend who is in the other custom game lobby send you an invite. Open it and view player details. Have them send another and again view the player details. Have them send another and this time hover over accept. Have them send one more and this time click accept and then spam the triangle until you see the invite pop up and then select view player details. Once you join your friend's party, have them bring the party out of custom games. This will force close the player detail window. Now have your friend leave the party alone. We now repeat the same steps as before. Your friend needs to send you an invite. Select View Player Details. They send another and you view player details. They send another and this time hover over Accept. They send one more and this time click Accept and then start spamming the triangle. Once the party invite pops up, view player details. Your friend will now bring the party back to the main menu, which will force close the player detail window. Your friend has to now leave the party alone. So just like before, have your friend send an invite. View player details on the first two invites. Hover over Accept on the third invite. Click Accept and then spam the triangle button to open the fourth invite, and then view player details. And now have your friend bring the party to zombies. You have now glitched the custom game settings into the zombies lobby. Now you can go over to Player and head down to Last Stand. And change the Self Revive count to 95. Your friend will now select Private and choose Outbreak. They will need to be paying very close attention to the game countdown. Once the time remaining has gone down by 3 seconds, they need to quickly leave the party alone. Once they have left, change the self revive count to 99. Your friend or friends can now rejoin the party if they want, or you could just play solo. The time remaining for the round based modes starts at 8 seconds, so your friend will have to rejoin the party immediately after leaving it. Now, if you go into the game and end up in a black screen, or you receive an error saying failed to host lobby, then one of the steps was done wrong and you will need to start all over again from the beginning. Once in the game, you will now see that you have 3 self revives, but in actuality you have 99. Anyone in your party will also have their own 99 revives.
You're going to need to start the glitch from the very beginning for any of the maps that you want to play on. I have only tested this on the round-based maps and regular Outbreak, but it may work on some of the other game modes as well. The window for your friend to rejoin the round-based games after leaving the party is very small, so they will have to be very fast in rejoining the party. This is a very useful glitch if you are trying to complete the Easter Egg main quest or just trying to reach extremely high rounds. As you will see in the following footage, we would have failed the quest trying to complete the Easter Egg. But thanks to this glitch, we have been able to complete all the main quests on the round-based maps. And that's all for now. See you next time.